Tonight, we have these two local stories that provide an interesting contrast. The first story features protests and a contentious school board meeting, which took place after a drag performance at a Fillmore, California Youth Center event. The second story surrounds a Fillmore pastor and former teacher arrested for soliciting sex with a 15 year old girl. I love when these things come up together to shine a huge spotlight on actual threat versus perceived threat, fact versus rhetoric, and on the hypocrisy of a Christian white movement that pushes celibacy, opposes abortion, and decries the entirety of the LGBT community for sexual deviance, while at the same time perpetuating situations where people in power take advantage of children sexually. So this is fun stuff. For the drag story on June 16th, the Pride Resource Fair at One Step Alavez, a youth support center here in Fillmore, featured a four minute drag performance by a local drag queen. After that, some locals gathered to pr protest at the city council meeting on July 11th. Then more than 150 people showed up on Tuesday, July 18th to the local school board meeting to speak out about the incident. Why is this weird? One Step Alaves is a nonprofit organization that has provided much needed resources to local youth since 2007, including providing meals, mental health support, and air conditioned place to be on some hot days. The Pride event was hosted at their own facility. So how did the school board get involved or even the city council? Uh, your guess is about as good as mine on this one. The school lists One Step Alaves as a local resource on their website, but there are no direct support or connection. So all of the backlash over a Pride event at a local LGBT support center just comes out of left field. They're coming for us, not just in schools, but in our own safe places and our own events. So this is, this is new. <laughs> On to our second story in Fillmore, a minister and former teacher was charged with multiple felonies surrounding his sexually explicit correspondence with a 15 year old. According to the charges, Barry Fike was caught in a sting operation where he allegedly thought he was speaking to an underage girl. He sent explicit pictures of himself and asked for a meeting in person. That's when the trap was sprung. He had actually been communicating with an undercover police officer in a manner that the Ventura District Attorney's Office called, quote, sexual in nature via a chat room that did not have any age verification or other safety features in place. The DA charged the 67 year old with four felony accounts of sending material to seduce a minor one felony count of contacting a minor with intent to commit sexual offense, and one misdemeanor count of arranging a meeting with a minor for lewd purposes. Fike was a teacher at local Oaks Christian High School in Westlake for 11 years, but hasn't worked there since 2014, the school was quick to point out. There is no word yet about protests at Fillmore or Westlake City Council or school board meetings over this incident, you know, of an actual real grooming and sexual threat to children. I reached out to one of the organizers for the Pride event who said that the children who use One Step Alaves have commented that they didn't realize how many people were in support of them until this incident. They are feeling extremely grateful for the support they received for the resource fair and the support people had for the performer. <laughs> 